one day at a time one day at a time one foot in front of the other or wheel in front of the other in my case Life doesn't stop. Someone's got to take the trash out. Life continues, as you know, the tasks, the chores at the house, they don't stop just because you're injured. And I tell you what, working with a trash can and just keeping at you, like just keeping things moving in the house, it is a good core work. So with these crutches and the scooter, I feel like I'm getting a workout every single day, just hopping around, trying to be patient as much as possible. And yes, it was a good, solid cross training day today. It wasn't my best, but I do want to say a shout out to Craig. I believe it's Craig who sent me that flotation belt. That was awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to best use it, but basically by putting the belt around my waist in the pool, I felt like I was able to focus more on driving my legs rather than relying on my arms. And that's like that's what I want to make sure I, I keep as strong as possible through all of this cross training are my legs. And that's, that was good. So thank you, Craig, for sending that uh, flotation belt, whatever it's called. And because I'm cross training, it means I cannot drive to the mountains, go seek beauty up in the mountains, which means I have every single day just a teeny tiny bit more time on my hands not much but just a little bit and it's probably gonna go away pretty soon once i'm back to running and off these crutches i was thinking gosh how can i use my time as wise as possible for helping all of you specifically those that have questions about training for a 5k so here's my idea listen if I was to become a, a coach, and there are coaches out there, just so you know, online-based coaches, usually, and I, I'll throw some numbers at you, usually you're gonna pay between $75 and $150 a month to hire a coach. And a lot of the coaches will only take on like 10 athletes, maybe, I've seen as many, I think 20 athletes at a time. If I were to do that, I would love to do that. I would be ecstatic to do that with, with many of you out there but I don't have time. That would mean if I were to do that and become a coach and basically provide daily or weekly one-on-one uh, -on -one phone calls, what would that mean? It would mean these daily vlogs 
would go away or at least be dramatically decreased. There's only 24 hours in a day. I just don't have that kind of time. And so because I don't have a ton of extra time to become a full-blown running coach online right now, maybe down the road, not counting it out, but that could be a decade away. I'm not even kidding. Like that could be a long, long time from now. Therefore, what is the next best option? So here's what I'm thinking. I want to take all of my experience over the last 20 years, all of my knowledge, and really, so I have coached before in the past at the collegiate level, at the Division II collegiate level. Uh, I obviously ran for Mark Wetmore, who took me from a 16-27 5K guy down to a 14-46 guy. So I kind of watched Mark work his magic with me as a walk-on at CU. Uh, he dropped my time considerably. And then I have some experience coaching my brother to a 10th place finish at Foot Locker. Uh, so that was good. I, I feel good about my 5K uh, coaching background. And so I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's help you out there who want to run faster 5K specifically. All right, we're gonna talk more about what's on the board here in a second. And so I also know that people watching this YouTube channel right now, some just started running in the last three months. That is amazing and congratulations. We have people wa watching who have been running for two to three years and are ready to try and break 25 minutes in the 5K or maybe 20 minutes in the 5K and you're just like ready to make that next step. Then we've got more advanced runners and then we've got I'm not going to say elite 5K runners, but runners that are trying to, let's say, high schoolers who are trying to uh, be recruited to running college, okay? So here's where I'm at. I'm thinking of starting two new uh, coaching series on this channel and uh, basically new playlists on this channel that will focus on two of these categories. So uh, I, can't, I just don't have enough time quite to make a series for all four categories, but I'm gonna do basically the two ends of the spectrum. I'm gonna start with the, I'll just say like the, the couch to 5K category. So really people who are just beginning to run or who have are, are like walking right now, basically. Like they, they wanna start running, they wanna try and run a 5K in 2019, but they frankly have no idea how to go about doing that, all right? So that's gonna be the first series. And then the second series is gonna be the other end of the spectrum. Specifically, I would say a lot of high schoolers are, are messaging me on Instagram specifically, and they're asking how to run a fast 5K. So now is the time to put it into action. The next series will be all about how to build specifically now so it's may it's may right now when i'm recording this getting ready for the fall cross country season so you've got may you've got june you've got july and you've got august so basically three and a half months what would i do if i was a high schooler or if i was a high school cross country coach what would i be uh what assignments would i be giving my athletes throughout the summer months all right so that's going to be the second playlist and we're gonna do this. So what do you think? I know this is kind of a new topic for this vlog, but I'm excited to help you out there, uh, specifically at the 5K distance. Now listen, I would say, I'm just gonna tell you right now, if I had to rank the other distances that I would feel most comfortable coaching, it, it would be in this order. It would be 5K, 10K, ultra, whoa, full, and then half. And let me explain. 5K, because I already explained with my past coaching experience, 10K for my coaching experience at the Division II level, but also, again, under Mark Wetmore, um, just, yeah, we race 10Ks in cross country, so I'd feel pretty good there. Ultra, because that's what I've been racing for the past four years, I'd feel really good about Ultra. Full, I would not feel quite as good giving you coaching advice. Why? I've never raced a marathon on the roads. So be patient with me. I'm trying to trying to figure it out literally as we go, maybe in a month from now, maybe in two months from now, but not yet. Let me get a good marathon under my belt before I start dishing out marathon training plans. And then the half marathon is just, I've raced half marathons, but again, I would need to do a lot more processing and frankly racing at that distance before I would again feel comfortable dishing out half marathon advice. And just so you know, these videos would not be replacing the daily vlog. That's what you're watching right now. We're still going to be doing that, uh, but it would be step 
step-by-step -step training plans, very detailed. You wouldn't have to think at all. You just have to watch the video. Uh, you could write it down somewhere or record it on a spreadsheet and then follow it step-by-step -step all the way to your starting line on race day. And just to give you a quick example of what I would put into the Couch to 5K playlist, for here we go. I would not have you start running. I would have you start walking. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but it would be a slow progression. Again, based on a lot of experience over the years, if you're really just beginning to run, you don't want to start running. You want to start walking and then build into running. All right, that would be one example. Then number two, uh, for the more advanced 5K runners, runners that are really trying to run fast, at least let's say for guys in high school, if you're trying to run under 17 minutes, I would talk very specific about volume, how many miles to run, through June, through July, through August, when to go up, when to go down in your volume, all of that. So that's just a couple examples of what we would hone into. And yes, the key word is you get to choose. If you were to, if you wanted me to talk about a specific distance, what distance would it be? So choose one of these and then let me know, and the, this is the question of the day, what experience level would you be would you put yourself in are you a beginner uh intermediate advanced what and so it's it's basically choose one of these and then beginner intermediate advanced and then anything else that you'd like to add as far as uh your future hopes for training plan help on this youtube channel all right does that sound good i'm excited about this and again i have a little bit of extra time now so now is the time to get the ball rolling uh for everyone who is interested in running a 5k all right i'm not gonna sign off quite yet gonna go inside check in on the family i think dinner is almost ready let's go come on